Yeah, so I've been, you know, that's the only downside to dining week stuff. Yeah. Is that, and I, I, I mean, I guess I get it, but, you know, uh, why people flock out for dining week stuff. Yep. Um, but they really fucking flock out for dining week stuff, man. I mean, yeah, it was it, it was a different dining weeks. I mean, you know, we obviously experienced it with Natalie running the restaurant before we bought it. Yeah. Um, you know, she's seen I think five or six dining weeks. Yeah. And it's just first of all, I don't know what was going on with the marketing with that. Yeah. It, because like nobody knew. Right. You know, usually it's this big thing and they're like it's dining weeks, you got to get out and support local business. Yeah. And there was literally like barely anything. I mean, people yeah. were coming in, which was kind of, it was good for us. It was good kind of like, I guess, litmus test, but it, not really because like, I don't know how to explain it, but people were coming out and didn't know that it was dining weeks. Right. So. And then the challenge is that you have your dining weeks right, menu. Right. And where? they're like, I want to order a regular menu. And we're like, we're not doing that right now. And we could have made more money. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, but. It is what it is, but I mean, as long as people were happy, which they were, yeah, with the food and the experience, then you know we're happy, and they're going to come back. So I was just talking to, and you know, three one seven isn't like a a burger joint, no, like it's an elevated dining experience, right? right? It's like duck poutine, yes, you know, so ex- more expensive ingredients, right? That's basically the point I'm trying to make. Yep, and I just I was talking with uh, someone who how much do I want to give away? I was talking to someone who (laughs) is going to be hosting uh, dining of actually, this will be a good uh, take because I'll I'll like to get your opinion. Yep. You can go talk to an organization who is going to bring X amount of people to your restaurant. They're going to, they're going to hold a special brunch, let's say Mm -hmm. at three one seven on Saturday, and they're going to bring you 75 people into the restaurant. Mm Mm-hmm to eat during that event. 75 people you wouldn't get otherwise. Right. What is that worth to you? It's worth a ton, man. I mean, anybody new coming in and experiencing, even if it's not off the regular menu, right? I mean, it, they're they're getting to see the ambiance of the restaurant. They're, they're experiencing us for the first time. I mean, that's worth a ton because, you know, say we get just five of those people yeah. that come back regularly. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Those are five more people sure that are probably that, going to bring somebody else yeah. with them, right? I had a, a, a um, somebody come in last night, and she had been in before. I recognized her. How's it going? I was like, you've been here before, right? You know, I was just kind of trying yeah. to get an idea of if it's the first time, second time I've seen a, a bunch of people. But, you know, she's like, it's my, you know, I've been here a couple times. Brought her. It's her first time. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if we can get just like four or five people that, I mean, it, it's a snowball effect, right? Yeah, like sure. you, you get one person in that brings one person. Next thing you know, they're telling their friend. And, you know, I mean, it, it's all word of mouth. And that's, that's gold nowadays, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because people aren't going out. So if we can get somebody through the doors that loves everything and they're turning around and telling their friends or their family that you got to try this out. Yeah. I mean, that's that's worth its weight in gold. Yeah, for sure. You know? So there's an influencer who's going to start doing that at some restaurant downtown. Mm -hmm. They're doing it for like an event. She had messaged me last night and she was asking like, well, what should I charge them? She's like, we've both agreed that like I'm going to get people there and they're going to pay me for it. But what do I charge them? And, you know, in my head, I'm thinking like, I don't know, 10% of the sales for the night. But I'm also thinking like for some of these restaurants, that's their profit. Right. Like. There's not much more left over after that 10%'s gone. After your food costs and your, co- you know, after yeah, all yeah. the different costs. Overhead, and yeah. it's uh, You know, so I'm like, you could ask for 10%, but they could be then losing money on it. Right. You know? But, I mean, the way that, I mean, I'm sure that they're looking, they should be looking at it is, yes, they may be just breaking even at that point. Yeah. But they are getting people, again, through their doors that have never been there. Right. Right? Yeah. And that are getting that experience and and hopefully everything's great. Yeah. And you get some of them to come back, you know, to come back and say, wow, that was fantastic. I want to try their dinner menu. I want to, you know what I mean? Like that's, sometimes you got to do that. Sometimes you got to take a hit. Right. 
to kind of grease the skids and make sure that people are at least through the doors. Yeah. You know, you don't, that's not a great business model. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you don't want to do that all the time, but yeah. um, for something that's just a one-time kind of one-off right. to get people through the doors. Yeah. I think it's worth it. Yeah. You know, if you have kind of your loss leader, so to speak, and yeah. then you, you know, add on to yep. it. Uh, exactly. As restaurants speak for all you non-restaurant yeah. people. Yeah. <laughs> Coming from a big restaurant guy. Right? Yeah. That's me. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> conglomerate God, yeah, restaurant conglomerate yeah, that's owner. right i'm gonna have 20 restaurants soon that's gonna be great <laughs> so i don't i don't know if we've ever talked about how you guys came about buying the restaurant i mean we know natalie was the restaurant manager yep. for a number of years beforehand um yeah you know you guys brought darius along yeah um were you and natalie together when you guys bought it yeah okay. yeah so um we have we've been together i think oh, seven years now oh okay um, and we have a five-year-old, yeah. you know, and she, she got out of the restaurant business when she had Scarlet and, um, worked at Spin Car for a little bit, just some on and off stuff, um, just kind of from home. Yeah. And then, um, uh, she actually went and worked for Bull and Bear. Oh, okay. So she was, uh, I think she was a, a manager there, you know, at some level. Yeah. You know, but she, it was... She didn't know if she wanted to be in the restaurant business. Yeah. You know, she'd done it her whole life, right, mm-hmm. her whole working life. Right. And didn't really know if she, she wanted to try and do something else. And she thought about going back to school. Um, so she left Bull and Bear and got a call from somebody that actually worked with her at Bull and Bear. Okay. And said that, you know, there's this restaurant downtown that they're looking for somebody. Hmm. Do you think, uh, you know, you want to go on an interview? You know, if they're looking for, you know, these hours, whatever. And she's like, I don't know. So she thought about it for a little bit. I was like, what the hell? You know, it's not corporate. She was trying to get out of the, like the corporate yeah. kind of, you know, big chain restaurant and like even Bull and Bear, you know, I mean, it's they're great. local, but they're, they're a, local, but it's, you know, a machine. It, yeah. You know, um, so she was trying to get out of that and, you know, weighing her options. And finally she was like, you know what, I'm going to go, I'll, I'll go talk to him. Um, so she went and talked to Dean. Dean was a previous owner. Yeah. Um, and they hit it off. And she's like, yeah, you know what, I'll, I'll take the position. Started the work there. I think she, I think it was like three and a half years she ran it. And then um, Dean moved to Arizona. And um, long story short, he was not going to come back, mm-hmm. you know, and offered us the, the um, you know, the restaurant. We thought about it and we're, you know, kind of going back and forth and thought it was a good idea. And, you know, we're just talking like financially, could we do it and, you know, I mean, buying a restaurant is not like, you know, buying a pair of sneakers. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's it's an investment and in time and you're going to be away from the family and, um, you know, stress and, you know, stress that you don't even know about yet. But like, <laughs> listen, I watch a lot of TV and I watch a lot of Food Network and I see like, you know, you know bar rescue and, you know, the, the saving restaurants and whatnot and four out of five restaurants close their doors within, you know, four to five years. So, I mean, that's something that, you know, we had to take into, <laughs> take into consideration. Right. Yeah. And I, Natalie went out with her friends one night and I had a couple of drinks and <laughs> just said, yes, uh, yeah. <laughs> called Dean and said, and said, yeah, let's do this. And I, I called Natalie and said, <laughs> called Natalie and said, Hey, guess what? She goes, well, uh, what's up? And I said, shit. uh, <laughs> just bought the restaurant <laughs> she's like what <laughs> so here we uh, are that's here we are. hilarious oh you my know. god yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh my god whatever yeah so um you know <laughs> that's i <laughs> Uh, we not ta- many people I, have that story. I know. Huh? I, thought, I thought you were about to say like we talked about it and we thought the sacrifice would be worth it. Yeah, no, know? no. <laughs> I had a couple of drinks. Let's give him a call. Let's, <laughs> Let's just see what this is yeah, all about. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Joel, it's midnight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Luckily, he's in Arizona, so he yeah. was two hours behind. That is. Know? Oh my god. <laughs> god, that's my favorite story ever. Um. <laughs> This is, it's good, isn't that's it? It's good. Yeah. I wasn't sure because you know it's like you're you're buying scotch, you know, like you think of like Glenn Levitt and right. you know Pat, you know all that kind of stuff. You know, they see like peg leg porker. Yeah, 
I'm like, how good is this shit going to be? Right. <laughs> you look um, at the name, you're like, hmm, yeah. I don't know. And for a 10-year, it's expensive. It was like 100, and wow. 100 bucks for a 10-year, which, um, you know, typically well, I'm Let me a, fill this up. <laughs> no, <that's laughs> I'm a Glenn <laughs> Levitt person. That's yeah. my, you know. Yeah. Um, I think it's the 12 year, maybe it's the 12 year. I forget. It's good stuff. Yeah. yeah. I bought like the, I think it was the 15 or the 18 or whatever. One mm-hmm. of them, not to like the 20 where it's, you know, $600 or yeah, whatever. That's... I bought like the $150 bottle Yeah, and I really didn't care for it any more than the 10 year. Right. It's marginal. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like, uh, is it worth the right. extra? But the 10 year is like 70 bucks. Right. So. Yeah. Um, and that was a hundred, and I was like, "Okay, I'll I'll try it." Yeah, and uh, I like it. It's good. Yeah. yeah, it's 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 smooth. Yeah, I haven't had you guys here for an episode in a while, so we haven't been able to drink through a lot of this. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, if you want me to come back weekly, uh, we can <laughs> yeah. put a dent in that. That's fine. I've, I stopped up. I've got <laughs> rye and vodka. And yeah, a after bunch the of last shit over disaster there. of me <laughs> slugging through the ninety nine bananas or whatever the hell it was, it yeah, was man. <laughs> that stuff was awful. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't that bad. Obviously. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, restaurants, you know, people don't make money in the restaurant industry. It's yeah. not like a, it's not like a, <coughs> we're going to open a restaurant and become millionaires. Rich, yeah. yeah. You know, like, I, I and, you know, we're, we're doing all right. I mean, yeah. with the pandemic, it's tough. You know, I mean, it, it's it's a tough gauge to see. Yeah. Because literally 2021, it's like starting anew because right. last year was just such a clusterfuck. Yeah. Right? And, I mean, we were closed down for what five months yeah you know and then you know nobody wanted to be out and about or by anybody or you know so it's really hard to gauge what kind of traction we've got yeah because people were so scared of just leaving their house yeah so you know with the turn of the year and you know more vaccinations and by the way i got mine yesterday first yeah, one feels great. like somebody hit me in the arm with a hammer is that all you got yeah that's all i got oh you know? dude yesterday for me yeah was <laughs> fucking really bad. i got a little chest like tightness did you get moderna or pfizer pfizer oh you did okay. yeah yeah so i got the moderna one did you go to the where'd you go i went to the fairgrounds oh okay yeah so i went to the on center mm-hmm. i wasn't even gonna get it my wife has gotten both of hers. She got the Pfizer one. Yeah. She got both shots. She had a fever like this day after she got the second the shot. The second one, yeah. And um, I don't know, man. Uh, you know, listen, I mean, I got it, so yep. whatever. Yep. But I've been telling people this story just to give them the context of how I stand on vaccines. Yeah. And that is when I was like 23, I went. To, I was going to go to OCC and take some classes. Mm-hmm. And when I was like filling out the application and yada, 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 they needed like the medical transcripts from high school. Yep. And I called my old high school and said, I need those sent over for like the vaccinations or whatever the fuck I got. Mm -hmm. And the nurse at the high school said, according to your file, you never got any. (laughs) And I was like, well, what do you mean? And they said, your parents wrote down at the time that you were exempt due to religious purposes. Oh, there you go. And I was like, what? I was like, what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? God and, put you on the list, bro. You don't have to get them. <laughs> <laughs> and the nurse was like, the nurse was like, yeah, I'm sorry. This happens every once in a while. I was like, wait, you didn't, but you didn't know. I, I mean, listen, when I was <laughs> fucking 15, 16 years old, yeah, I mean, what the fuck do I care if I don't have to get a shot or not? You know? Right. So, you know, so I was never vaccinated apparently for anything as a child. Like measles, mumps, rubella, chicken pox, know. any of know. that? I know that I had chicken pox as a kid. You did. So, I, yeah. Uh, but uh, but my like wife, the rest of it, like those are deadly diseases. Yeah, like, I don't you know, could man. Get that and die. I don't, I don't know. Get like, uh, you know. I don't know. The croup or something. I could and just still get polio over. apparently. Um, <laughs> no, I don't know. So I've just never been like. A big. Yeah, right. Big vaccination guy. Right. I don't, it's not that I believe that. Obviously like, you were brought up that way and you didn't even know it. Exactly. You know what I mean? Right. You're like, screw the man. Yeah. I'm going to, I mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't, uh, I don't get the flu shot ever. Neither do I. I haven't gotten the flu. Sh- I, I think the last flu shot I got, I was like 12. Yeah. That being said, I got the flu. Yeah. When I first got divorced. Oh really? And I had to go pick up my daughter and I was living alone in my house that I live in now. Yeah. And 
I had the flu and um, bronchitis at the same time. Jesus. I was in bed all day. I had to go pick up my daughter from school. And I went to walk out. Like, I felt like death, man. Like, it was, it was hard to, like, move my yeah. body. And I just collapsed in the middle of my floor. And I couldn't even get to my phone. Wow. I was like, this is how it's going to end. Like, I'm going to be here alone, dead. <laughs> in the, you know, just cold in the yeah. middle of the floor. Like, <laughs> my, my ex-wife's going to be calling. Like, how come you didn't pick up the kids? <laughs> or how, how can you, why didn't you get Jenna Ray, you know? Yeah. And I'm just going to be a, you know. Freezing cold on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? That's why you get the flu shot. Everybody. But I made it through. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. You know. That's how I kind of felt yesterday. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, I honestly don't know why I got it because yeah. I hadn't actually taken time to sit down and say, Anthony, what do you think about right. the vaccination? We Nobody has. You yeah. know what I mean? Because it's just like this thing that's over our head and we're right in the middle of it. You know, we're in the middle of the hurricane right now. And it's like... Yeah wow, all this stuff is available now. I should go get it, but nobody really has the time to sit there and be like, is it something that I want? Is this a life choice that I want to make? Right. It's, I should do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's... Yeah. And, I mean, with us, you know, being right. at the restaurant, you know, we want to make sure that everybody's comfortable yeah. and safe. You know, I mean, we... I was talking with a, a, a couple last night, and, you know, we go above and beyond... Like the regulations, yeah. You know where we still have gloves on. Oh yeah. We still, you know, our ma- Everybody's wearing masks, but like, you know, we have gloves. We're spraying everything down. We make sure that everybody sees when somebody leaves. We're breaking down that table, spraying it down, making sure that it's disinfected. So when yeah. the next table comes in, everybody knows that like yeah. we're safe and they're safe, and the environment that they're sitting in is safe. Right. You know. Um. So it's just another level to make sure that people. No. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's not like yeah. I'm gonna walk around with my card and be like I got my vaccination or anything. <laughs> but I was talking with my my <laughs> the, the, the craziest thing about it, and, and like I'm sure this is kind of what you're thinking about a little bit. I my my HR guy at uh, Rob Didio at uh, Spin Car mm-hmm. was talking to him about like traveling after yeah. uh, you know for sales. Uh, I'm a sales guy, you know, so like I got a bunch of states that I oversee that I should travel and talk to dealerships, right? right. So. I was like, so when I get my vaccinations, am I just free to travel? Yeah. You know, and, and the, the rules are so weird. He was like, with when you get your second shot, I don't know, he was reading me something. I, I, please don't quote me, and I'm sorry, Rob, I'm not, <laughs> like, throwing you under the bus, but, like, the, he knows that the, the, the rules are just so yeah up in the air. It's like three, like, within the three months, the next three months after you get your shot, you're good. You still have to wear a mask. All right. And I was like, well, what happens after the three months? Yeah. Right. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we don't know. You know? I, and it's yeah, it's weird. Honey, I love you. And forgive me for what I'm about to say. <laughs> uh, remember, I love you. Remember this. <laughs> um, but... <laughs> Uh, but Rebecca, like we had to travel to Kentucky cause we had a death yes, in the family. I remember. And you know, Rebecca getting back, it was like, no one really was saying there was no official cause she had had like her first shot at the time yeah. or she had already had COVID. You know, we both got it and you know, the new year Yep. and it's like for 90 days after you get COVID, you're not supposed to go get tested if you're exposed. Those are the kind of those are the rules that they that the like the paperwork. So if you're exposed, you don't get tested. So if I I have had COVID in the yep. new year, yep. Up until the end of March, if I'm exposed to someone else, like if it turns out that you have COVID right now, I don't. I by the way, yeah. Thank you. I so. <laughs> I am not supposed to go get tested because I've already had it. So what the fuck does it matter? Yeah. That's so true. so why did you? <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> So you went and got the shot, but you were out of the kind of zone because I have a buddy who had COVID mm-hmm. and he can't get the shot as of yet. So is there like a, I think there's like a time frame where you're, oh, I don't, I just, you know, that, that, yeah. that's what it is. I think it's just so, nobody knows what the fuck is going on. You it, know what I mean? Without like, giving away all the details. Right. So I love you, honey. Uh, without giving away all of those details, because she's going to listen to this in like a month and a yeah, half. Yeah. Um, 
and all of a sudden, I think you're great too. Yeah, you know, she's gonna be really pissed at me one <laughs> random day, and I'm gonna wonder why. And it's because she just I watched the podcast to this episode. Yeah, <laughs> um, but no one fucking knows, right? There is no expert on this. No. no state agency is saying, like, this is definitive. And that is, for me, the part that is the most yeah, it's tough. frustrating because, like, all these things are put in place, but no one fucking knows. Right. We don't know. We don't know in six months if we're going to have to get more vaccinations. Right. You know what I mean? Like, and that's it's wild. I mean, like, we haven't in our lifetimes seen anything like yeah. this. You know? Yeah. And that's, I mean... It's crazy. I mean, it's wild yeah. that this is happening. You know right. what I mean? Like, this is something that's going to go down in history that we're all experiencing. That, yeah. like, my five-year-old literally doesn't really know what it's like to right. walk around and play without a mask. That's crazy. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and she she talks about it often, and she's like, I, I would love to go out and play without my mask. <laughs> or I'd love to, you know, she has a, a friend across the street that... They before this, you know, she remembers playing with her, yeah. Phelan, and 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 you know, she can't really do that. They have they play, yeah, but they're in the yard together, playing separately together. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like they're keeping their distance. They have their masks on. That you know, like it's it's awful to watch. You know what I mean. Like growing up, and and you know, I mean, <laughs> I'm about to be forty three, and you know, just and kids are different now anyway. Yeah. You know what I mean. Like let's be honest. Like with the phones and the digital world and you know kids don't play like they used to right but now it's even crazier because they literally can't play together they have to be this yeah. far away and playing and like All right you know like there's no contact there's no you know like not that they're hugging all yeah. the time or whatever but like it's just i can't get close to each other yeah you know it's it's so bizarre to like just see I know. You know, it's like looking out in the yard, and for most of the time we have to say, you know, you can't, because uh, Phelan just had, uh, her mother just had a, another daughter, mm. and so she got a little sister. So, like, when that happened, we couldn't, yeah. I mean, it was, it was like three, four months ago, I think, brand new baby. Right. You can't, like, God forbid if, you know, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. that happens. We can't, you know, we can't risk that. Right. Um. So now it's getting a little better, you know, she's, and she was, I think she was premature a little bit. So, yeah. you know, um, we definitely didn't want to be yeah. a part of, you know, anybody getting sick if that was something that was going to happen. So, um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I just, I saw Wednesday night, somebody post in a restaurant group that I'm a part of on Facebook mm -hmm. in the area. And they said, uh, Hey, there's 1500, uh, vaccines available tomorrow. Yep. Uh, at the on center, like they need people to go sign up. So I did. And um, I don't think I'm technically eligible. I put down. Like, I was going to ask you that. Like, yeah. what is, and th that's the other thing. Like, I'm sorry to like jump in, but <laughs> I went. Right. Yeah. So. They didn't ask for anything. Oh, they didn't. I literally went. I showed up. Sorry, New York State. If you're going to get mad, <laughs> my bad. But like I went and like I had a, a note. You know, saying that I was, you know, co-owner of 317. Um, and I showed up. Yeah. My ID is expired. Your driver's license. Yeah. So, <laughs> like, literally, I hand them that. They looked at it. They were like, yeah. You know, why are you here? Are you, do you have, like, an illness or, you know, whatever? <laughs> and I was like, no, I own a restaurant. And they were like, okay, go right over there. Like, well, I have a note. They are like, no, that's fine. Like, <laughs> Okay, like, so literally, you know, I could yeah, have all my friends just say they work at 317 and <laughs> go and get vaccinated if they wanted, you know? Like, it's just crazy, you know? I, I just feel like this whole goddamn thing is I know mismanaged. Yeah. And they're just, and, and like, I don't want to be the person in charge of right. putting it all together know, yeah. because I'm sure it's a goddamn <laughs> nightmare, you know what I mean? But, like, I just, there's no rhyme or reason to a lot of it. When I signed up, so I, like I signed up online like at like ten o'clock at night, mm -hmm. set the appointment for the next day, went down to the on center. Um, I had a really hard time in the line. I mean, I was texting my siblings and my wife like, "What the fuck am I doing here? <laughs> I feel like I'm in a fucking horror movie." <laughs> Because it's just this. You're being herded in. You know I mean, what I mean? Exactly. Like, you're, yeah, you know, it is like, just this long 
wine and there's yep. like three different lines and I'm like this is fucking contagion or I was like I I text him I was like I feel like a Matt Damon right yeah. now like I am like this is I thought about jumping out of line multiple times really but then when I got to like the front of the line to then go wait to get the shot they were they said then like why do you qualify? And I said, oh, I said, well, I, I work in the restaurant industry. And right. They're like, well, what do you do? It's like uh, marketing and I'm at mm-hmm. this equipment place, but I'm in restaurants all the time. Yep. Da, 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 da. Uh, how can you prove that? I was like, wow, they went through all that. Huh? I was like, I, I can't. I was like, I can pull up my like Facebook page or yeah. My, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's what I was thinking of doing too. Yeah. If they asked me like, well, you know, this is just a letter because we don't have letterhead as right. a, you know, as yeah. a company. Yeah. So, like, I literally copied and pasted our, you know, logo right. on the top of a page, typed out a letter. Yeah. And had Natalie sign it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it wasn't official. It wasn't, you know, right. it wasn't notarized. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, but they didn't, I mean, luckily they didn't. I had to open that. my Chase mobile app and show them a direct deposit no from way. Gerhard's equipment in order to. Wow. Yeah. That's wild because, uh-huh. like, out at the fairgrounds, sorry again, New York State, uh, <laughs> my bad, I'm blowing people in, but, like, I mean, it, it was pretty fast. We were in and out, yeah. you know, but oh, see, I mean, they me. literally they literally were just like, your ID, where do you work, boom, mm. go it right took, over there. took me an hour and a half. Wow. Yeah. I was there for, like, maybe 35 minutes. Okay. 35 minutes including the 15 minutes that I had to sit there and yeah. wait to make sure I didn't keel over and die. Yeah, right. You know, yeah. Was, <laughs> yeah. We don't think you're going to get any uh, side effects, but <laughs> just sit over here for a little bit. And I'm like, of course, everybody's just sitting there like, yeah, maybe I feel bad. I don't know. Right. You know? <laughs> yeah, no, it, the, uh, it definitely freaked the shit out of me. Yeah. And then, like I said, like I felt fine that day, but then yesterday I woke up, I felt like shit. I had to go to work because we had a, uh, cooking video series we were doing with this person that was on uh uh like food network and shit nice. um uh actually andrea might be listening to this so yeah uh, she was on the american great american baking show oh really she was a runner-up actually nice uh so anyway so we had to do it so for what where she uh she's out of cheryl new york okay um i've had her on the podcast here for eat local a couple times okay. and then um yeah she's really fucking talented that's awesome yeah uh so, but we had scheduled this thing for like a month for the, like to have her into Gerhards to do cooking videos. And so we did it and I had like, couldn't cancel it. Yeah. And I felt like, <laughs> dude, I was up to 103 temperature no last night. No way. Like you were texting me. And that's me. the first, that, that, that's the first shot you got. That was the first shot. That's so, wild. And Madura and I have to wait for a month and then go back and get it. Oh, so it's 30 days? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I think it's like April 1st, I go to get the second one. Yeah. And I mean, literally, like I text my siblings yesterday, I, like all men are fucking pussies when it comes to getting Not sick. me, bro. Yeah. Fuck I you. crush it. Yeah. You're sitting there like. I crush illness. Yeah. I just lifted my arm like, hey, oh God, hang on one second. Like, can we pause this? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Natalie, I can't come yeah. in tonight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Natalie, you're going to have to walk me out of there. <laughs> I can't walk. <laughs> Uh, I am a bitch when it comes to getting sick. Like, yep. I exaggerate so much when it comes to getting sick. And um, so I text my like siblings yesterday and uh, I was like, I'm very ill. And so it wasn't like a, if I die, I love you. Like text. I, it wasn't like that when I did but close. When I had was, COVID, I did that. Close. Although well, yeah. Hey, yeah. listen, I, I get it. Right. You know, like it's, uncertain we don't know when i had covid yeah. those first two days i forget if i told you this laying in bed i did on my phone i did audio recordings to my wife oh because she had it too she was downstairs in the living room i was upstairs in bed and the recordings they weren't like oh like you're the light of my life i mean i, I said that a couple <laughs> like, times we're like don't look in the drawer right. with the <laughs> yeah in the drawer under the underwear because yeah. that's up my porn stash yeah <laughs> if i die i don't know how that stuff got there yeah, just burn yeah. that. That's all. It's like, <laughs> just put it out to the curb and light it on fire if you could. That would be great. <laughs> Destroy the computer. <laughs> yeah, just smash the computer into a million pieces. Don't turn it on. <laughs> Don't ask any questions. 
Uh, <laughs> I love you. Thank you. <laughs> 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 oh. oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. No, I was I was telling her like um she makes fun of me uh, fun of me about this. I was saying like uh if this happens like continue to post for the clients for the <laughs> remainder of the month. <laughs> Continue like, to do my job. That would be great. That I would like, be, I be fantastic. I gave her instructions on like how to ba- do it. Like, like go back and just copy the last month's post if I die. <laughs> <laughs> Here's how to boost a Facebook post. Oh yeah. my god, that's amazing! Look, look at how dedicated you are. Know, that is yeah. amazing. <laughs> Jesus, like if I uh, die, don't tell anybody that I died. <laughs> Keep billing them. Just keep rerunning those ads. <laughs> you'll have you'll have a little time where you're gonna make some money. That's great. That's a, <laughs> that is a true businessman right there, my friend. <laughs> Jesus, my, no, yeah. my my daughter got it. My daughter got COVID, and like I think I told you that. Yeah. How old my, is she? She's thirteen. She'll be fourteen in April. And um, she spends most of her time with with her mom. Yeah. And I tell you what, man, like I bugged out. Oh, I bet. You know, because I, again, uncertainty. I mean, yeah. you, you were making videos about keeping your clients happy to your wife. Right. You know, uh, <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> but like I couldn't see her. Yeah. You know, and her, her temperature was up to 103 or just Jeez. under and whatnot. And like she wasn't eating, she wasn't getting out of bed. And, yeah. you know, I mean, it was terrifying. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And I, I've never like, I'm a dad. I've, you know, obviously been a dad for a little bit. Yeah. And, you know, my kids are my life. Yeah. You know, and it was it was yeah. It was a rough couple of days, man. Oh, Just bet, being man. able to like, you know, my ex wife luckily, you know, kept me in the loop. Yeah. You know, obviously what was going on and you know, luckily she didn't get sick too. You yeah. Know? Uh but it was it was tough, man. Like oh, I didn't yeah. expect it to hit that hard. Like I I was always you know, I'm a I'm a dude. Right. So I'm like, you know, if I get it, fuck it. I'll be <laughs> fine whatever you know but like i wish it was me yeah for sure and not her yeah you know what i mean like yeah. it was it was tough it was tough i was i like yeah i recorded a video to her oh yeah i didn't send it to her but like i you know just yeah it was it was you tough don't know. yeah man yeah, like man. we don't know there's so much uncertainty with this people like that are completely healthy and yeah and, you know everything's fine with them they don't have any pre you know right pre- existing conditions or anything like that dropping dead yeah on you know i had i found out somebody that I, I i've known her since she was what probably since she was born i was good friends with her little sister she was in the she was in icu for I think six weeks. Jesus. Yeah. With the ventilator. It's crazy. And most people that go on the ventilator, it's not a good, yeah, <laughs> a good sign. Yeah. And they're not coming out. Yeah. You know what I mean? And luckily she, she got through it. She was on a ventilator for six weeks, but she's, she's better. Wow. You know, but like, that's just the thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like there's people like that. And then there's people that, you know, just all of a sudden they find out they have COVID four days later. Gone. Yes. You know what I mean? I mean? Like yeah. that's wild. It's just wild the 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 difference and like there's no like there's no I guess they're starting to find out like precursors yeah. or whatever, but like but there's it seems like there's no rhyme or reason. No, there isn't. I mean you know? I, I've I've said this a few times. We had a friend who I don't know how long ago, but she got it. Uh and every she was like the poster child for if you get COVID, you'll die. I yep. mean, pre-existing condition, like asthma, heart condition, oh, Jesus, severely overweight, like you are the stereotype. Mm-hmm. And she basically had like zero symptoms. Tested positive. She was fine the entire time. Never lost any taste or smell. Great. And then we have a friend, like overweight, like my size. Yep. But other than that, he's fine. I think you're in great shape, buddy. Don't Thank worry you. about it. Yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs> My work shirts feel the same way. Um, and uh, according to the CDC or whoever it is, we're all morbidly obese. Right. So, yeah, you know, exactly. it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> By the guidelines, it's like I weigh 450 pounds. Yeah. So whatever. Uh, but he he was dead three days after getting it. Like 
unbelievable. Hardly anything wrong with him. Right. And he's gone. I mean, it's... It's, it's terrifying. Yeah, it's, it really You know is. what I mean? I like, mean, that is... Yeah. Like, that just blows my mind. And, like, to... Like, I get it. And, and you know, to get, kind of go back to, you know, your not knowing yeah. about if you wanted to get right the vaccination. I... That's one of the reasons why I was like... Something's open. I'm going to get yeah. it, bro. You know what I mean? Like, I can't, I don't want to be that person that, like, Joel was a great guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that yeah. is absolutely, I love myself. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> you know I don't what I mean? Want, like, I don't want to see myself go. Yeah, I don't want to see myself <laughs> die. That would be insanity. Like, the world would be a worse place if I was not here. So, like, I need to make sure I'm here as long as I possibly can. <laughs> Well, good for you. Buddy. Yeah, that's going to yeah. be the take right <laughs> that's there. That, that's the that's, one. That's the clip that's right the there. Yeah. <laughs> I love myself. <laughs> I'm the best person yeah, on this yeah. planet. I'm the best person I know. <laughs> you know, other than Tom Brady here. Is that who that is? It's Tom Brady. I was trying to figure out who that Greatest was. Greatest of all time. Yeah. I'm not even a Patriots fan. Patriots fan. Yeah. I'm a Tom Brady fan. God, that's I'm a big fan of greatness. Yeah. <laughs> no. I wore uh, this on purpose. I literally was going to wear a different shirt, and I was like, it'll be good. Talking point. Yeah. Because Tom Brady's the greatest. Tom Brady. Love Tom. Tom. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. I think I like Tom Brady more now that he's not with Tampa. But now that he's not with. Uh, I think he can actually be himself now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's. Get hammered the the it. Patriots are the, a machine. Yeah. You yeah, know? that's true. He was never getting hammered at Patriots Super Bowl parties. Right. Yeah. He was crushed. Right. You see him walking him out. Walking him out. <laughs> I, I would drink Tom Brady on your table tell you that that was one that's one that's one game he would never win say that again without slurring yeah yeah be like I have this. <laughs> see if he can drink a bottle of banana whiskey yeah. or whatever Dollar the hell it was yeah, yeah exactly that's hilarious <laughs> oh shit man yeah it's gonna be an interesting year yeah you know like uh, but like I, we were talking about earlier i think i mean from just the reception that we've had Leading up to, you know, today, yeah. honestly, um, I think people are getting the itch. Yeah. And the great thing is, is they're getting the itch not to go to big chain restaurant. They're right. getting the itch to invest back into the community. Yeah, I hope that that continues. I mean, we, yeah, I mean, uh, we've talked, Cal and I have talked about a little bit, like, different strategies that we have to start doing for social media. Mm-hmm. Um, and... You know, on my end, they're probably a little too late. They're not too late, but they're late uh, because, you know, restaurants have been hiring people and doing good pictures for a while now. Yeah. So we have to kind of figure out kind of what's next a little bit. And um, there's places that are, I mean, I don't know of, and obviously I haven't talked to everybody. But I don't know of really any local restaurant besides maybe one or two that I've heard from that haven't been crushing it lately. I mean, February for people was February was good. Fucking yeah, insane. It, it was it was a lot better. You know, I mean, obviously as a business owner, you always want to see it be better. You know, there's something that you yeah, can do better. Like what for sure. You know, um, I would say, and I don't want to say that we're in to add to your two, yeah, right. <laughs> you know, um, but you know, it's all about we're in the kind of in the moment of trying to still get our name out there, mm-hmm. right? Because people still don't know, yeah, you know. And you asked me about like the brunch thing and yeah. whatnot, and people are still just finding out, right. just figuring out that, and I have to say this, I know it, but I truly believe this. You come to our restaurant, you're going to get the best plate of food that you can anywhere. And that's not talking down anybody in yeah. Syracuse because there are a lot of great restaurants downtown and I love everybody there and there's great food all over, but I'll put my plate up against anybody. Yeah, And the experience that you get when you walk in through our doors yeah, is unlike anywhere that you're going to get downtown. And we're just trying to get, you know, I think we're starting to build momentum. 
mm-hmm. you know, uh, looking at the Google analytics and, and all of that. And, you know, we got more views and searches than we've ever had. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we're in the position where we're, February was good. Mm-hmm. But I feel like March is going to be way better. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. it can, it's, it, I think it's a combination of a couple of things, you know, obviously again, people are just needing to get out of the house and they're sick and tired of just cooking hamburgers and hot dogs and whatever. Right. And they're looking for a great experience. And luckily, you know, the, not luckily, I mean, thankfully, I, I guess, Google searches and, and all that, like, point to us yeah, because of the experience, yeah. right? And we, we I think we're, like, at 4, 8 or something like that on, That's awesome. on the stars, and, you know, and people see that, and they're like, wow, let's give it a shot. Yeah. And they're not they're not dismayed when they, they walk through the doors, Yeah, you know? Like, we had somebody last night came from Utica. That's awesome. Utica. They yeah. were like, we had four other reservations. Hmm. Four other reservations, and... We were trying to get in early because we were going to the movies, blah, blah, blah. And you could get us in at right at five. And we were like, yeah, you know, that's fine. And the lady is, they were foodies, you know, they were, you know, home cooks. That, yeah. You know, they recreate a bunch of stuff. They loved everything. That's you awesome. know, and they were like, I'm going to blast this all over Facebook, you know, Instagram. And, you know, we'll be back sometime yeah. soon, you know. So, I mean, that's just, I mean, it's far reaching. Yeah. You know, and that's that's exactly what I was talking about with, you know, like that, that brunch idea. You get one person that you blow away. Yeah. And that's our goal. Yeah. Every single person that sits down, give them the greatest experience of their lives. Yeah. Give them the greatest plate of food of their lives. And we had people that were there last night that went to a, a steakhouse locally and they got our filet and we were like the that was better. I'm not going to mention who it is, <laughs> but they were like, we spent a lot of money on those steaks the other night. This is way better. That's awesome. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And I was sitting at the bar, not talking to them, just, you know, I, I sometimes I just sit there and kind of listen, yeah. you know, the conversation's going. Well, we, we put recording devices at all the tables, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. of course. And I'm like, those bastards. They're never allowed in again. <laughs> No, but uh, That's yeah, great. I mean, it, 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 the reception has been great. Yeah. You know, we, we do it, we, we do our homework and we're, we're trying to make sure that everything's good. And we're trying to, you know, I, I put a list together, uh, did a bunch of research over the beginning of the week to start our kind of spring menu. Yeah. You know, we're trying to, we're trying to become as kind of seasonal as we can use, you know, as much local, you know, we, we go to the. Um, we'll try to go to the farmer's market as much as we can to like get our, our products from there. Yeah. Um, but using, you know, those seasonal vegetables and, you know, dishes and what's hot in the market and trying to figure out like what we can put twists on, yeah. you know, because we're, we're not the restaurant that's going to sit here and just be like, all right, you're just going to get a sandwich. Right. You brought it up before. We're not a burger joint. Yeah. But we're, we're trying to make sure that we're, we have creative ways to, give people food that they're used to. Yeah. But put our own twist on it and be like, wow, that was fantastic. Yeah. You know? Yeah, man. So. Hmm. Well, Joel, you said it all. I did. I did. I just talked for like five straight minutes, I think. (laughs) Just took up the whole time. Sorry. My bad. (laughs) Well, thanks for coming back down, man. Yeah, man. We'll have you down here in a couple weeks. I'm in. Sweet. Anytime. Thank you, sir. Thanks.